Ever wondered what would happen to your Facebook account if you were to pass away? With memorialization and legacy settings, you can choose how you want your account handled and who you want to have access to it if that were to happen. I'm Jessica from TechBoomers.com, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up memorialization settings on Facebook. Now let's get started. To begin, open Facebook and tap the menu icon in the bottom right corner. Then scroll down to the bottom and select Settings and Privacy. Now tap Settings. Scroll down and select Account Ownership and Control. Then tap Memorialization Settings. Here you'll be able to choose what you want to happen to your Facebook profile if you pass away. You can either select a legacy contact to allow your page to be memorialized as a way for your friends and family to remember you, or you can choose to have your account permanently deleted once Facebook has been alerted of your passing. In order to allow a close friend or family member to manage your profile for you in the event that happens, tap Choose Legacy Contact. You'll then see more information about what this contact will be able to do with your account. They'll be able to manage your account but will not be able to access your private messages. Tap Next to move on. Now type in the name of the Facebook friend you want to choose as your legacy contact. When they appear in the search results, tap their name to select them. To let this person know that you've chosen them as your legacy contact, tap Send. Your legacy contact will then be saved. If you'd like your legacy contact to be able to download a copy of your Facebook data, including all of your posts and photos, tap Data Archive Permission. Select Yes, Allow. Then tap Save. If you ever change your mind about who you have set as your legacy contact, you can tap Remove to delete this person as your legacy contact. If you don't want your page memorialized and would prefer that your page be deleted after you pass away, scroll down and tap Delete After Death. Then select Yes, Delete After Death. Tap Save. Then tap Confirm. If you'd like to let a friend know that you've chosen to have your page deleted when you die, tap Choose a friend to pick someone. If not, tap Skip. Your setting will then be saved. If you've selected Delete after death, one of your close friends or family members will need to notify Facebook of your passing in order for the deletion process to be carried out. If you've selected a legacy contact, that person would be able to access and manage your profile on your behalf, and they would have the option to delete your page for you. Although it may seem a grim subject, we'd suggest anyone using Facebook to set up their memorialization settings so that their wishes may be respected if they were to pass away unexpectedly. Whether you choose to have your Facebook page memorialized or deleted after you pass away, we hope this video helped give you some peace of mind regarding what will happen to your page in the event of your passing. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. We put out great new tech tutorials like this one every week.